Good afternoon and welcome to the After the Market Close edition of Super Growth Multibaggers for Friday, April 16th. Um, we hope to, we actually plan to do this before the market opens. And starting Monday, we hope to do this each morning before the market opens. A quick look at one particularly interesting uh, company based on its financial statement trends. So as a brief introduction to our work, we're not experts in any particular company or industry or sector. What we're experts in is financial statement trend analysis. We are able to scan, comb through the financial statements of every public company looking for characteristics that have indicated super growth, multi-bagger potential, or the ability to return 100 to 1 over a 10-year period to investors. So, um, you know, we're looking for rapidly growing sales, expanding margins, reasonable price, offering the potential for multiple expansion. We're looking for improving return on assets, improving financial strength. And we run thousands of uh, ratios per company. It takes about 36 hours for our software to comb through every public company. And there are currently 61 super growth multi-baggers that qualify. Okay, so first let's take a quick look at the market. We'll start with a market risk assessment uh, based on the artificial intelligence price algo that we developed and use based on the principle of the higher the market goes, the riskier it gets, the more it falls, the less risk, and the more frequently the uh, pattern recognition software will buy. So this shows the buys and sells over the last year. This is really just indicating the pattern that the ELGO is currently using. And um, for instance, right now, the current market uh, trading around 416, sell at 429, buy at 3675. And because it's closer to the uh, buy at than, than the sell at, 3% from the sell at, 6.6% from the buy at, it's suggesting that there's uh, more risk than potential. Uh, and for it reaches the conclusion that uh, new purchases should be about 4% of cash position. We're actually about 95% in cash right now. We've been heavy sellers over the last couple of weeks as the market has risen uh, significantly. And um, so I guess that, that'll just, that just sums up our, our, our current assessment. You know, we're, we're cautious buyers, but but we will buy when the algo identifies advantageous prices. So we'll take a quick look at a company with particularly interesting financial statement characteristics. Aviat Networks. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Aviat. Aviat. A V N W. Uh, it's number four in terms of financial statement trend strength out of the 61 current super growth multibaggers. And uh, it appears to have huge potential. These graphs indicate uh, free cash flow trends in the top graph, uh, financial strength trend in the middle graph, and price versus our estimate of, of intrinsic value in the lower graph. Of the three, of primary importance to us is this middle graph. Through the years of working with this data uh, and, and process, we've learned that the, the middle graph financial strength is the best predictor of the three of future stock prices. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we're not experts on Aviat. We don't know much about it, really. Uh, we read Seeking Alpha articles where people make various predictions about earnings and etc. We find those interesting, but um, you know, we've seen enough earnings over the last 40 years in the market, earnings estimates over the last 40 years in the market to look at them with a degree of skepticism, and and that includes management guidance. You know the how how management reaches some of these numbers and how different they often uh, 
turn out to be. The future is essentially unpredictable. So we're, we focus on fact, not conjecture. But something interesting about avi Aviat that we've noticed is uh, in, in reading pro the proxy statement, which is probably the single most important document that uh, we rely upon. It, I guess we're, you know, we're looking for new management. We're looking for new management with an exceptional track record and uh, someone who can take a, a, a company with mediocre performance and perhaps bring it back to life. And in the case of Aviat, uh, they have a, a new CEO as of January 20. Um, I, in, in the written report that accompanies this, it goes into his background, but essentially he's worked at a number of different companies in Canada and, and the United States. Um, he's got what appears to be great management experience and he's new, he he's comes in with a fresh look. So we also note that in 2015, an investment firm, Steel Partners Holdings, took a 12.4% position and a year ago took uh, two board seats. So they're, th they're there protecting shareholders and uh, probably had a lot to do with the appointment of the new CEO, Peter Smith. And um, so these charts indicate growth trends Note the uh, increase, but not not significant in uh, revenue. The more significant growth in gross profit, which means the company is able to charge more, and the lower two free cash flow growth, both operating and uh, pre-tax free cash flow per share. Notice a very significant improvement in those areas. So this company has real momentum. And uh, and that's what's attracted us to it. If we take a look at um, the the stock price chart in the ELGO, um, these are the indicated buys and sells over the last twelve months. Again, a lot of buys in the in the March period, sells in April. Um, so a couple of buys late last late late last year, subsequent sells, and um, a series of buys in 2021, and similarly uh, a few sales. So the the uh, what what this is telling us is the pattern that the algo is currently working off of. So it's indicating a current buy out of 3090 and a sell out of 4250. That was actually as of the close last night. I had an assistant prepare this and um, it changes throughout the day as uh, the stock prices change. And, you know, for instance, with increased volatility, it drops its bid. With reduced volatility, it will become more aggressive in terms of its bid. And um, as of a few minutes ago, the uh, indicated buy at 28.97, the stock price 31, so 6% above the buy at. That, of course, can be, uh, you know, accomplished in, in hours or days. So we like to be aware of companies that are com approaching their buy at point so that we can move quickly in the event of a um, unusual decline in the stock price. That was the the chart that we we saw just a moment ago, and I guess that's it for today. Uh, Super Growth Multi Baggers, our website. We offer a report which we update two or three times a week on uh, the fastest growing low debt companies with strong financial statement momentum, and we also now do uh, custom portfolio risk analysis for clients. So clients send us their holdings and their uh, watch list or their watch list or both. And we produce 12 page risk analysis on each of them. And uh, we're able to do this very inexpensively because of the uh, software we've developed for this purpose. 
basically runs uh, thousands of credit analysis ratios on each company in the production of these 12 page reports. Okay, well, that's it for today. And thank you for uh, your interest and for uh, your time.